Talk is taking so long. We'll try to push more on next time a little better. It's a slow start to the game. You catch up at halftime and right at the beginning of the second half, you get the three turnovers and three baskets to the from there. Yeah, well, that's a veteran team, uh, and that's a well, well coached team. You know, and Jordan can control the game as, as well as anyone. Like, he's just so poised; nothing phases him. You know, he just skates along and gets to where he wants to go and places his people. And so, when you play against a really good point guard like that, uh, you have to work. And I think that in the first half, we didn't do as as, as well as we needed to. Um, to, to, contain, to contain him. You're not going to stop him because you know, he's, he's so good at setting up his, his teammates, but he was just too free uh, in the first half. In the second half, you know, we did a much better job. And A.B., uh, Aaron all obviously gave us a huge boost, um, uh, which is good. John, after the opener, you said Josh's performance was unacceptable. How would you characterize his performance tonight, 20 points and 4 rebounds? Better. <laughs> um, yeah, it was better. Yeah. I mean, his, his effort level, was, was much, much better than you saw him. Uh, and I think we talked about the second half. I think in the second half, I said this to him in the locker room, Josh, I mean, the, the points, the rebounds uh, were obvious. But I thought that, that on as Jordan was coming off all those long balls, and he did a very good job of keeping his body in front of him until our guards were able to get back in front um, and not letting them just skate past him. And so I think his defensive, you know, not that he was guarding him, but he really just contained him much, very, very well, I thought, in the second half. But if Josh plays with that intensity and that effort and that energy, um, you know that can happen. That should happen every night. In terms of guarding ten, how much of your game plan in the second half to make him work the ball up the floor under pressure, and then in the half court kind of fall back and try to force him into contested shots? Yeah, well, we, we we mix that in. I mean, obviously, you know, little Trey uh, Trey Campbell is 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 effective, ninety four feet, uh, and I thought. You know, he made him work, he made him work, and then and, and once he gets into the half court, you know, it, 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 was, it was futile to try to push out on him out the half court, like sit back and, and try to contain him as he came off of that. And I thought our guys did a good job. We switched the matchups a little bit, little Trey guarded him, LJ guarded him for most of the second half, um, and I thought he did a very good job. John, on Saturday, your offensive rebound disparity was 22 9 today. You get him, you double him up 18 to 9. Much of a, what was the difference in that? I think everyone was much more his overall rebounding. We had that discussion a lot the last couple of days, and and we have guys that can go get the ball. They just have to do it to make themselves do it. And so it started with Josh. I thought I mean, Josh was pursuing the ball very well today, um, which he has to do, um, which he can do. And so we did we did a much better job. The, the last, as you know, as I said, uh, following that game, we we can't come away from that game and, and as, as good as they're going to be. Ben Francis gets 22 offensive rebounds against us. I thought we did a better job of that today. And more importantly, or as importantly, you know, we want to get out, we want to run. You know, but to do that, you have to get stops and you have to rebound. So it's great to see there and say, hey, let's run, let's push it. And then you're, you're, you're giving up second shots and third shots and fourth shots. John, also DSR only, I think, six minutes in the second half. Was that just wanted to give him some rest or what was? No, was I thought the other groups we had and they were playing better. Yeah. Um, you know, he was in a little bit of a funk test when it happened. You know, we have one of these teams, I believe, this year where who knows what the combination is going to be. You know, we have, you know, 8, 9, 10, 11 players that we can put out there that I'm comfortable with and they're comfortable with each other. And so um, it just, it just uh, you know, we, we took him out, we went on a little run. And so let's leave the guys out there. Along the line of different combinations, you started Aaron in the second half. Now Mikhail had three fouls, but how much was that versus just changing the game of what you wanted to see on the court? Both. I thought he was effective in the first half, and we didn't want Hoff to pick up a quick one. And I just thought AB's, uh, uh, his defense, his speed would help. You know, I, I look at, I probably shouldn't say this, uh, very different, but I think he can have a very similar effect as a little as Patrick Young Jr. Um, a couple of years ago, where Pat was starting, I brought him off the bench. But when he came in the game, he affected the game with his energy. You know, much like Aaron, Pat was always getting deflections, getting steals, getting rebounds. Um, and I think Aaron can have a similar effect for this year. This year's team, you know, Pat goes from starter, goes on the bench, and being a big man, big six man of the year, uh, had a great year. I think Aaron can have, they're very different players. I'm not trying to say hey, he's like Pat, but they can have the same effect, I think, coming off the bench. Josh, did what Coach said after the last game kind of line of fire on you tonight? How much motivation was that for you? I mean, I had two rebounds the last game. I mean, it doesn't really need to take anybody to tell me that. That's unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the
one of those where it's just effort, you know, I just got to go wild. And, you know, when we get rebound, we, we, get, we look to run and transition and get guys, you know, open. And today, you know, I saw that more, so we just got to keep doing that more. Any other questions? Yeah, Aaron, Aaron, as you were running the second half, you opened with six straight points, you turned over three straight times. Is there something you said at halftime in the locker room that kind of gets you more focused in the second half? Or? Was um, the I mean, I'm just doing my job. I mean, Coach Thompson told me, like, every time I touch the court, you play with energy, and I feel like that's what I, that's what I do. So. And you were also able to turn him over 11 times in the second half. Was more defensive focus there? Or? Yeah, of course. I mean, that's how you win games, playing defense. So that's, that was the mindset being the court the second half. Josh, did you, did you sense in the second half you were just wearing him down inside? Like you were kind of you were breaking the will almost? Um, just kind of what Coach was saying. I mean, rebound on offense and defense. I mean, it, it demoralizes the team if you know a guy gets just kind of like with us. Even though we won the first game, I mean, they had too many offensive rebounds, and it didn't really felt feel like we won. You know, we didn't really feel too happy. But anytime we can affect them on the boards on both ends, especially offense, I mean, that the coaches don't like that. You know, the teams get second, third, fourth opportunities, right. and when everybody's crashing the board, I mean, it's good. John, uh, LJ missed a couple shots today in the first half game. <laughs> I thought he was fine. Um, I mean, I think I think much along with Aaron, I think um, you know putting LJ on Jordan helped our defense overall in the second half. And I think I said this after last, after Saturday's game, um, he's going to score points. It has, he does it. He, he comes easy to him, but he's also good at the other end of the court. And so, um, you know, he didn't he didn't have the, the points output that he did. He missed some shots, but uh, he still was key for what we did. And I don't want to say the same thing about Hop. I mean, Hop. You know, came in there and, and, and early on when we needed, Hop was the one rebounding, getting us going and getting second shots. Um, and I thought he was very effective also. <clears throat> Any other questions? Yeah, Coach, just to follow up on DSR, um, uh, what didn't you see from him or what did you see from the other guys that made you decide to sit next to him? I, I, I didn't look at it sitting him. We just, we had other combinations that, that went on a run. And so, we just kept those combinations in the game. And like I said, it's going to be not necessarily related to him, uh, but I've said this to the guys. We have multiple guys, different combinations. We can play different ways. And if we've settled into the group and something that's working in a particular game, that's what we're going to do. So what that means is the Aaron Bowens of the world, much like he did today, you have to be ready. You have to be ready to come in and do what you do, to come in and contribute when your time is called. And that's what made other guys step up. We were trained. played very well for stretches. Reggie came in and hit a couple of big shots. And so we just had another group that was working well. Coach, you got games with uh, Robert Morris in Florida around the corner. Uh, what do you want to work on with your guys in practice specifically to be ready for those games? Uh, not sure yet. Uh, in that, you know, me personally, I'm probably going to start looking at Robert Morris tonight. Um, my assistants have already, but you know, we we we're, we have so we have so many new bodies in that room, and I'm counting him as, as being a new body. Um, that that. And up in all aspects of, of how we operate, we have to continue to get more comfortable, to get more reps, to get better. And so I'm talking about offensive schemes, defensive schemes. Uh, you know, we have multiple people. You know, you, you talk about our versatility. You know, when we do have a versatile team, guys can play multiple positions. That means you have to learn multiple positions uh, at both ends of the court. So we have a lot of learning and teaching that still still needs to be done. So it's, it's, I don't necessarily think it's any one specific thing um, other than as long as we come with the energy that these two played with today um, you know energy effort hustle will solve most of the problems thank you thank you